What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I want to welcome everybody to my brand new online YouTube pressure cooker recipes for newbies. Now, guys, since this is the first video of this series, I'm not going to really be cooking anything today. We're going to turn on the pressure cooker. We're going to do what we call a water test and some other things. We won't be really cooking anything per se because I first, A, I want you to open your box, whether it's an Instant Pot or whatever pressure cooker you have. And by the way, Instant Pot is just the name of a company, guys. It's not, it's not the only pressure cooker out there. You have many other pressure cooker uh, brand names out there. Instant Pot just happens to be the most popular one. I call it the iPhone of pressure cookers. So, you know, but there are many other great pressure cookers out there. So if you have a pressure cooker and it's not an Instant Pot, not a problem. It'll work the same way. So I just wanted to get that out the way. For instance, guys, this pressure cooker is not an Instant Pot. It's by a company called GoWise USA. This is the biggest pressure cooker that I know. Um, it's a 14-quart pressure cooker. Look inside, y'all. Your pressure cooker is probably 6-quart. This is 14 quarts. You also have an 8-quart Ninja Foodi Deluxe, which is a pressure cooker and an air fryer. You might find this one in back of your favorite Chinese food spot. Hello, this is Cuckoo, voice guide. I know that's crazy, guys. Well, enough of that. I just wanted to show you guys that there are other uh, pressure cookers out there, not just Instant Pot. Although Instant Pot is the face of pressure cooking, there are other uh, companies out there, so if you if you don't have an Instant Pot, don't feel any way. If it plugs into the wall, you can follow exactly what I'm doing. All right, so let's open up this box, guys. And speaking of plugging into the walls, guys, this these new pressure cookers that they make nowadays, well, for the past, I don't know, 20 years, really, um, they don't go on your stove like your grandma's. I know we heard stories about that and how... You had to make sure all this stuff. These pressure cookers are foolproof. I'm going to show you that today. Nothing's going to blow up, guys, I promise. Nothing's going to hit the ceiling and get stuck in there or blow your nose off. So this is what it looks like when I open the box, guys. You got your manual and stuff. So let's, let's get all that stuff out. That was it, guys. Everything you need is right here. If you don't see a cord attached, a plug attached to your machine, um, most Instant Pots have a breakaway cord, so just look for that. This one has a breakaway cord, so I made sure I secured it right here. And it, we'll plug it in later, but I just want to make sure you make sure you get that and secure it where you can see it. Next thing I like to do when I get my pressure cookers, I like to Take a scissor and cut this off from the valve. And we're going to get more into that later, guys. Just pull that out. Next, we take this out. We look down there. We take this out. So it should look like this. All right? And make sure you take this out. Because you don't want it, you don't want to operate it with this on the bottom of your pot. This is what we call your inner pot. Now, for instant pots, you're going to get a stainless steel inner pot. Other pressure cookers might be a non-stick, it might be a ceramic, it depends. But instant pot, definitely you're going to get a stainless steel. Stainless steel, I prefer ceramic, but stainless steel is the best. Um, because it can take a licking. You can use metal utensils. You can do whatever. It's not going to scratch. It's, it's going to stand the test of time. 10 years, 20 years. So you don't have to worry about your pot chipping or anything like that. So that, that is one good thing I, I like about Instant Pot. Although I like ceramic, I have to admit that stainless steel inner pots is the way to go if you for longevity. All right, so now we're just going to put our stainless steel in a pot right in there. Just drop it in. No big deal. We're halfway there, guys. All right, guys, let's get it plugged in. 
So right here is my plug. I'll just go ahead and pop that in like that. And we're plugged in. See? Now, this is your pressure cooker cover. All right? Let's look at it. Let's analyze it. I'm not going to go too in-depth because this is the first video, but we are going to dive in to other aspects of it. But I want to... We, we're just into need-to-know bases right now. The, the basics that we need to know to overcome your fears about this machine and to get you rocking and rolling right now. So that's what we're going over right now. So anyway, this is your valve right here. This can come off. So if it comes off, no worries. And you just pop it back in. No problems. Now, what I need you to, to look at here says venting and sealing. Now, when you're, when you're um, turning on your pressure cooker and you're trying to get it to pressure, you want it on seal. That means it keeps in the pressure. And then when your time is up, whatever time you set, and we'll, we'll go over that later, you're going to put it to venting. Now, it doesn't go all the way to the word. Just push it as far as it goes. So don't worry if it doesn't go like in the middle of the word venting. This is as far as it goes for me. So if it goes that far, that's fine. Don't worry. It's not broke. And sealing. This is as far as it goes for sealing. See, it's not even, it's barely touching the word. But just go as far as it can and it's, it does its job. This is your pin. Um, it goes up. When it goes to pressure and it comes down when pressure is released. We'll go back over that a little later on this video. I just want to identify that. And of course, this is your handle. You're going to use this to open it, close, and pick up your lid. So guys, we're almost ready to plug it in. And we didn't even blow up yet. Look at that. <laughs> so whip out your, um, your manual. Most pressure cookers are going to give you, of course, a manual and they'll give you some form of recipe book just to start off. But, you know, you can you have plenty of nowadays in 2020, you have Pinterest, you have Facebook groups, you have YouTube videos. I mean, there's plenty of recipes out there. But anyway, I want you to open up your manual and and at least come to this part where it says uh, cooker parts overview. And kind of familiarize with the, the names of the parts, you know, the inner pot, you know, and all that stuff, the valve, all that stuff. At least do that for now. Now in your Instant Pot, you're going to get a bag like this. It's going to come with a trivet. We'll get to that a little later. We'll put that aside. We don't need that today. But most importantly in that bag, you need this uh, condensation collector. It looks like this. Every pressure cooker has one. And we'll show you how to put it on. Now, if you don't put this on, it won't be the end of the world. You'll still be able to operate your machine. But the purpose of this is to catch the excess moisture so that it doesn't spill to the countertop. So you might have some, a little, not a lot, but you might have a little spillage if you don't put that there. But, I mean, you'll still be able to operate it um, if you didn't put this on. But put this on. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in the back of the Instant Pot, and the cup is going to press in right there. So we just go like that, and it's on. See? Boom. That easy. I'll take it off for you. Wait. Just press it right on. Easy peasy. And I would just give, you know, it's transparent. I'd give it a check every other use to make sure that there's nothing in there, and you just take it out and just rinse it out, and you'll be fine. Now, as a courtesy, your pressure cooker will come with these tools, one or two of these tools, um, and this measuring cup that's not a full-size measuring cup, which you're not going to need because the recipes, at least that you're going to get in 2020, I don't know back in 1998 if the recipes utilized this cup, but nowadays, you're gonna, they're going to tell you, you know, put a cup of water, put a cup of this, two cups of that. So you're going to need a regular measuring cup. So to me, if you already have kitchen tools, you don't need that. Get rid of that. Get you a spurtle, get you some tongs, and of course, any regular measuring cup will be fine. Of course, this is the bomb. 
And by the way, I forgot to mention that this is dishwasher safe. I mean, you can wash it in your sink, but you can throw it in the dishwasher as well. No worries. All right, guys. Now we're, we're diving into the heart of what I'm trying to do um, in this video. So we're going to do two key things right now. I'm going to show you how to put your pressure cooker lid on and off. And then I'm going to show you how to um, get your machine up to pressure. We're going to go over that. So let's dive right into that right now. And what I'm doing here applies to any pressure cooker. So you see this part here. All right. So look at the pressure cooker. You see the front, right? We're going to go to kind of the back of it or the back left in this case, in this pressure cooker, but yours might, this might be to the right of yours, but we want to go to this part right here. See that? All right. Just look at that part. Okay. So this is my pressure cooker lid. I showed you before. Grab the handle, flip it over. We're going to line this part with what I just showed you before. All right. We're going to line it up. Now, what I do like about the Instant Pot, it does make a noise once you get it on securely. And once you open it and once you close it, it makes a jingle. So that's cool. That kind of helps you know that you're doing something right. So remember, this part is going to go here. So we're going to line, we're going to line this part to the left of this. So I want to start here and just put it down, give it a little wiggle. You heard that? All right, I'm going to take it off and do it again for you. Remember, I'm lining this part. to. I'm going to start at the left, right here. Lefty Lucy. Put it down. It'll just go right down. And then I'm going to turn it to the right to secure it. That means it's locked. Another way to figure out if your lid is on correctly, you see this triangle right here. And there's a lock symbol right there. That aligns with that triangle on your pressure cooker lid, see? That's how you know that it's secure. See? Take a moment for yourself, congratulations. You just put on your pressure cooker lid and see, you didn't blow up. We're still here. All right, so let's get this open. All right, guys, so now we're going to do the water test, right? And uh, make sure you, before you first use, give, give your inner pot a rinse. But yeah, we're going to do one cup of water. And why we do a water test, guys, is because you're not going to be worried if, you can't mess up water anyway, but you're not, you can't burn water, right? Um, so instead of doing a test with food that could possibly be wasted, um, we just do a water test and the purpose of the water test is to familiarize yourself with getting this machine up to pressure and getting rid of that fear or just getting used to that experience, should I say. So let's put one cup of water in there. All right. And we're going to cover the lid just like we did before. Remember to the left, then to the right. Bam. Now remember the valve I was telling you about earlier, uh, we have to have it on ceiling to get to pressure. So we're just going to put it to ceiling. And that's when we release the pressure, we're going to move it here, but we want it on ceiling. And remember, it doesn't have to go all the way. Just go all the way to the right as much as it can go. And that's fine. So it's good. We got our valve in the ceiling position. So we're ready to go. Now guys, these are presets. We're not going to worry about that right now. And what the preset is, is just an a estimate of what, a good guess of whatever that button, like meat uh, or soup, how long that would take to pressure cook. But I'm going to show you how to manually put in your time because I don't want to trust the pre preset. We're in 2020. Like I said, these, these pressure cook, these electric pressure cookers are what, 20 years old. So we have the exact times out there. So we'll just, we went, we're not going to guess, we're going to put in the times. So guys, before we even turn this on to get to pressure, for it to get to pressure, just keep in mind, it may take five to even eight minutes, depending how much liquid you have in there. All right. 
So we're going to, man like I said, we're going to manually turn this on and get it to pressure. So we're just going to click, I mean, press pressure cook. And on my pressure cooker, it's the last button. Hit pressure cook. And we see the plus and minus. We're going to hit minus down to uh, one minute. But let's say you're too slow because this doesn't have a start button. If you don't do nothing after like five seconds, it turns on. It just turned on. I don't want to do it for 35 minutes. I just hit cancel. I hit pressure cook again. I'm going to go minus all the way down to one minute. So if you don't do it in time, just hit cancel and do it again. No worries. All right. Now I got to my time of one minute. I'm going to wait four or five seconds without doing anything because this doesn't have a start button. And it automatically will just start. It just, I guess the Instant Pot says, hey, you didn't do anything. You didn't do any fun other functions. So I guess you're ready. So we're going to wait uh, about five to eight minutes. I'll put on my stopwatch and, and we'll see about how much time it takes. So I'll be back in a couple, uh, about, a, about two minutes. Now, guys, you're going to smell a, a, like a plastic smell a little bit. Don't worry, nothing. That's normal. That's going to happen on your first use. Now, you hear it? We're about a minute and a half in. That means the water is boiling. See that? See the pin? Okay, the pin's up. That means it's, it's hit the pressure that it needs to hit. And in a couple minutes, it's going to start the countdown. It's still on on because it didn't fully get to pressure yet. But yep, there it is. Once the pin... Um, goes up about like 30 to 30 to 45 seconds it comes to pressure so in a minute it's going to turn off by itself and go to a keep warm mode and keep warm won't burn your food it just keep it warm at a very low temperature all right it should be done any second now i want you to hear what it sounds like when it's done and what happens after it's done. Okay. So one minute's up. So what's going to do now, it's, it's going to go to keep warm, which you see that lit right there. And that's not going to burn your food. It's just going to do what it says. It's going to keep it warm. Now what this is going to do is start counting up. And it's going to basically tell you how long it's been in keep warm at this point. So it's going to do it in minute increments. So now we can hit cancel because we're just doing a water test. Oh, well, actually, we're not even going to hit cancel because cancel is like you're, you know, like turning it off. What we're going to do is we're going to release the pressure. I know this is the scary part to some of you, but it's really not. You're not going to blow up, guys. I want to just erase the fear. We've been using pressure cookers. I've been, I'm going to give you a, um, before I release the pressure, I'm going to tell you a testimony. 2015, I got my first pressure cooker, and it wasn't an Instant Pot. It was a Power XL QVC, or none of the home shopping networks had Instant Pots on their platform as yet, so I couldn't get it on FlexPay. I wasn't, wasn't the richest of people in 2015. So I got a Power XL on FlexPay through their infomercial. And I remember doing the video. I deleted it, um, you know, these days. But I remember saying in the video, I said, when I got to this point of releasing the pressure, I said, guys, if I blow up, I love you. I was just talking to my little, I think I had 3,000 subscribers at that time. But you're not going to blow up. It's foolproof. And I'm going to give you a little more information about releasing the pressure um, after but let's release the pressure. So remember it's on ceiling now. We want to go to venting So we're just going to move it to the side See that? Now look watch this Look my hands right there. It's hot, but it's not scorching hot We didn't die And now we're looking for that pin to drop down It's going to make a noise but once that pin drops, that silver pin, that means all the pressure is released. You just heard it. So that means it's safe to open. 
I promise you, we're not going to blow up. You ready? Let me. Look, it's boiling water. Yay. See? No big deal. Now, some pressure cookers have a start button. So if yours has start, then you're going to put in your time, you know, one minute, two minutes, or whatever minutes, 30 minutes, and then you're going to hit start. Whereas I, on, on the one that I'm demoing, you would wait three, four seconds and it automatically starts. So if you don't have the exact um, Instant Pot that I have, just make sure if it, just look around and see if it has a start button. Or better yet, check your manual on how to start it. Um, if you don't have the one that I'm using. Let's just do it again because since the the um the water is already hot, it took about three minutes to get to pressure, but this will take less than probably a minute to get to pressure because like I said, the water is still hot. So let's just repeat the process, guys. Remember to the left. You'll hear that because it's it's hot. But that's okay. We'll wait till that hissing noise goes away. And then we're just going to go to the right. Okay. Oh, and then we're going to put back our valve to sealing because we had it on venting. We need it on seal so it could, so all the pressure could, um, you know, stay inside and it can get to pressure and the pin can go up. Same as before. Let's do pressure cook. Let's, let's do two minutes this time and just wait for it and then it'll start on its own. All right, we're about 45 seconds in, you hear it? So you're going to hear these noises when it's coming to pressure. There you go, the pin went up. And we should hit, we should start the countdown any second now. Alright, we hit pressure. And it's just going to go for two minutes. Then go to keep warm. And then we're done. I just wanted to show you again. And this is all it is, guys. And guys, I do have a pressure cooker group on Facebook. It's called Pressure Cooking with Doug. Feel free to come in there and, you know, say hey and look at some recipes. And you know what? I'd be happy to see what you're make, what you've made. If you if this video has inspired you, and you make something, come and post it in there. I'd love to see it. Link will be in the description. And like I said, this this counter goes in minute increments. So see, it just changed to one. All right. So this is done. So if I was done and I, I didn't want to go any further, I didn't want to keep it on keep warm, I could just hit cancel. But I want to show you something before I release the pressure. There are uh, terms that I want to let you guys in on when you're, when you're looking at recipes online or even in your book. You have what you call a manual release or a quick release. And they're basically the same thing as what we did before when we... when the, the uh, time got to zero and we would just release the pressure. We put the valve to venting right away. That's a manual release or a quick release, whichever, that's the same thing. But we have something called a natural pressure release or NPR. And what that is, is once the time, the time you set, like for instance, let's say I was making some baby back ribs, which is coming this week. Let's say we're making some baby back ribs that could be anywhere from 25, I don't know, to 45 minutes, depending on how much pounds it is, right? And you went to sleep. You set it and you went to sleep and it went to keep warm. Your pressure cooker, any, not just the Instant Pot, any plug-in electric uh, pressure cooker, not the ones on the stove, it will naturally release the pressure in about 20 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes. So if you did nothing, you went out, you went to the supermarket, you went to Aldi and you went shopping, it would release the pressure by itself in 20 minutes. So the pressure won't just sit there inside burning your food or whatever. It'll just slowly release out. 
So why we use natural pressure release is like in meats, like if you were doing a pot roast, if you were doing um, some ribs, or you're doing any type of tough meat, we want to do a natural pressure release for at least 10 minutes. And we would let that L count up to 10 or 20 minutes, and then we would release. So that that's a that's what we call a natural pressure release. Like, for instance, when I usually make ribs, it's, I don't know, 30 minutes, no, 25 minutes with a 10-minute natural pressure release. So I would set the pressure cook for 25 minutes, and then when it's done, I'll let this go to 10 minutes, and then I will do the quick release after it hits 10 minutes. You can count it on your own, or you can just watch this. It doesn't, either way, it doesn't matter. But let's go ahead and release the pressure one more time. No worries, guys. See? No worries. And the longer it, um, once it's on keep warm, the longer it's on there, the less pressure it has to release. Because remember, it's releasing slowly by itself anyway. So it's, you saw the pin drop, so we can open it. I'll go ahead and hit cancel because I know I don't want to cook anymore. Turn it to the left, give it a little jiggle, and boom, we're done. Well, now, guys, because I love you guys, I'm going to go into overtime. Now, your Instant Pot <clears throat> does come with this cooking timetables like cheat sheet. Now, I know I have some frozen asparagus, and now it says one to two minutes right there. But it's a cheat sheet of all sorts of stuff, and you can look through it. See how much time it takes. I got some frozen asparagus that I vacuum sealed. Figured I'll cook them up today. I won't eat them all for lunch, but between now and Saturday. Yep, it'll be gone. I'm gonna correct myself. See these little bumps? Oh, I can't. See these there? These need to be on the bottom. So I had it upside down. <laughs> there you go. That gives it a little clearance from the water. So I'm just going to dump these in there. Doesn't have to be perfect. I should have cut the ends before I froze them, but it's all good. So we got the cup in there, we got the trivet in there. We're good. Remember? So before I even put the uh, lid on, I'm going to just put my valve to ceiling. See? It's there. And then remember to the left, give it a little wiggle so it catches. There we go. Then go to the right. We're good. All right, very easy. We're gonna hit pressure cook. We're gonna hit plus for two minutes. So remember, although it says two minutes, it probably in 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 total time it probably take five minutes because we have to take. We have to consider the time it takes for the pin to come up to go to pressure. All right? So I'll be back. All right, guys. We'll be back in two minutes. All right. So we know we're going to um, do a quick release. So I'm just going to hit cancel. There's no need to keep warm because I'm going to release the pressure right now. Like I said, no problem. Just move it to venting. And boom. Let's open it up. Give it a little jiggle. Sometimes it needs one. And bam. They are done. Smells good too. Now believe it or not, these handles are not hot. You just take them up. Right out of there. I'll just... Dump them right onto my wherever. Boom. All right. So now what I want to do, because I'm going to go into overtime again, take the pot out and dump the water, the liquid. Drop my pot right back in there. There's a mode on your pressure cooker, guys, called saute, or it might say sear, and this is like stovetop mode. So like, make pretend this was like a stovetop. You can do eggs, bacon, 
sausage, anything that you can do on the stovetop. If I hit saute and wait for like three minutes, um, yeah, in about a couple of seconds, it'll start. Um, three minutes to heat up. We can do anything, and I'm going to show you that right now. All right, so that's on. We'll, we'll give it three minutes. Set timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. I got this cauliflower rice from Trader Joe's, y'all. I'm just going to go ahead and just put some oil in the pot and let this cook. I have this with my asparagus. And then I have some leftover um, meat. I think I made a whole chicken the other day. I have some meat left over. I'm going to um, cut up and put it with this for my lunch. Easy peasy. And also, guys, this is an accessory you can buy. Some Instant Pots come with a lid, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking 95% don't. Um, mine did, um, or one of my Instant Pots did, because I actually have three. Um, and so you can buy, I think it's like 10 bucks. I'll put a link in the description. So um, some of your Instant Pots have slow cook mode. So if you're slow cooking, instead of putting this heavy lid like this on, because you can, you can just really have it looking like a real crock pot with this lid. Or like you're doing, if you're sautéing something, you can put this lid in there. It's got the little hole so a little steam can come out and whatnot. Pretty cool. You don't have to have it, but it's pretty cool if you do. All right, three minutes is up. Now when you see it says hot, that means we're ready to roll. And that takes it like you know, two and a half to three minutes. I'm going to show you how hot it is. I have some avocado oil in my Evo oil sprayer. But whatever oil you got is fine. Olive oil is great. I don't know if you heard some of that, but let's get the cauliflower rice in there. And guys, if I wanted to, I could have pressure cooked the cauliflower rice, but I just wanted to show you the different possibilities. Yeah, I heard that, right? Break this up. Well, actually, I'll let it cook, let it break up, and then we'll just start mixing. Let's take a sneak peek at it. This is about two and a half minutes in. I told you it just break up on its own, and now we start mixing it. Let it cook. Uh, I'll probably let it cook for about another five minutes. I'm going to add my already cooked meat so it can get some of that flavor in there. Like I said, I did a whole chicken the other day. And that's the last of it. So, I'll let that cook. About seven or eight minutes have passed. It smells nothing short of fantastic in here, man. I'm going to hit cancel because I don't need to cook it any longer. So when I hit cancel, that takes off the sear mode or saute mode. And so take my lid off. Now look at that. That is fantastic. Yeah, it's ready. I'll make a quick plate for you guys and then we'll continue. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. Look at that y'all. You see how quick that was? That was, let's see, it took about 8 minutes for the rice and another, you know, 4 minutes for the cauliflower. 12 minutes. That was so simple. Now. When I cook, guys, I usually have you guys take the first bite. So go ahead. You got it? Oh, that's good. That is good right there. I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. I'll be right back. This is my Instant Pot Mini, y'all. 
It's a three quart. I have a ceramic in the pot in there. But it comes with stainless steel. I just chose to change it. Because that's my preference. This is my Big Dog Instant Pot. It's the Instant Pot Duo Evo Plus. I think this is the best standalone pressure cooker that you can buy in 2020. Now this is my uh, Instant Pot Duo Plus. I bought it on uh, QVC as an as is. I think it had three flex payments, but the as is price was like 60 bucks. This is over a hundred bucks. So what my plans for this pressure cooker is I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna use this for these specialty new uh, newbie pressure cooker videos for the next week or two. And when I hit 80,000 subscribers, I'm at 79 right now, um, I'm going to give this away. I know I'm giving a Ninja Foodie Deluxe away, and I'll be giving this away as well. Um, as just a giveaway, because that's just how I do. So keep it locked here for that. But for 60 bucks I, with three flex bays, I just said send it. And yeah, like I said, later today I'll be returning this one. The reason why I got this one is because I realized... You see the valve here on the one I'm returning. So this is the one I got from QVC with the three flex pays. You see how the release looks? It doesn't have a um, venting or, or sealing. You just press this down and it comes up, which is very convenient and easy. But I know a lot of you don't have that on your pressure cooker. So I wanted to show you that way, um, at least for the first video. Because that's, a lot of people, you know, you know, are nervous about that part. And it's really not that bad. I know some of you still will be uh, afraid, but I do want to mention this before I go. Um, if you feel more comfortable putting like a cloth over, um, you know, the valve and let the steam hit the cloth, that's fine. Nothing, there's no harm in doing that. You can cover it. Or let's say if you have it under a cabinet and, you know, of course, one or two times won't create any damage but I'm sure over time if you keep releasing the pressure un right under your cabinet it will cause some wear under there I don't know how much but so you can feel free in that case and put like a cloth over it a rag or whatever there's no harm in that it won't uh, damage the um, pressure cooker in any way it'll just release the same way well guys that concludes my page one intro to my um, online YouTube for uh, pressure cooker recipe book for newbies. So now that you know how to turn it on, you've done your water test. We're going to cook some we're going to cook something tomorrow. I think we're going to go ahead and make some I think we're going to make some baby back ribs. If I don't do it tomorrow, it'll definitely be um what's today? Wednesday. If I don't do it Thursday, I'll definitely do it Friday. All right? So I hope this was helpful. Please share this with someone that is having some um, anxiety issues with pressure cooking. You know, I know a lot of people in my air fryer group have instant pots or pressure cookers and they've never opened it. So I'm hoping this video will uh, help them open up it, open up the box and, and, you know, get it, get using it. So don't forget, share this with your friends, your groups, whatever, whoever you think may need it. But that's all I got. I'll see you on the next one. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. And um, as of tomorrow, I'll make a playlist of these so you guys could follow along, um, you know, on YouTube and stuff. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. It's Cooking with Doug.